We should be live. Let me just uh, double check here real quick on here. I uh, should be saying we're good to go. Yep. All right. So I just heard that. Okay, sorry about that. Um, sometimes I forget that uh, to remute that if I start watching something. I'm actually going to, and I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this or not, uh, but I want, yeah, I'm going to go and stick my indicator up there. Okay, so um, welcome back, everyone. We're on episode nine here um so my ninth stream on this um i've got many things to show you so apparently all my girls died um i'm gonna go and i'm gonna get like a married couple and maybe when i bring them they will uh they'll have some kids and that'll help but i i don't know this this village seems to be kind of cursed because um they they've all taken to just getting killed somehow um, anyway, so as you can see, I have finished clearing out this giant um, area here, uh, which even goes partly into the the wall here on the dungeon here. Uh, got a few things that uh, that we really need to get going on. Um, right here, I'm just waiting for the grass to grow around here so I can finish putting the path in for now. Um, the path is something that's going to change. There are a lot of things that are going to be changing. Um, right now, uh, one of the things I need to get is I need to get uh, a Coke oven going because I need some uh, some treated wood. Oh, yeah, the drawers. So I put some of the uh, basic drawers in here. It's kind of like um, barrels from Java or any of the other mods that uh, throw in barrels. These, of course, you can upgrade. So um, if I shift right click, you can see it's got uh, five upgrade slots um, and you can take them in and out as you desire, um, which is a little bit easier than some of the ones where you have to put them in in sequence, like a tier one, tier two, tier three. Here you can just go straight to whatever tier you want. Uh, there's a couple of other types of upgrades as well. Um, you know, I have uh, something I want to look up here. Uh, what do I need for that? Oh, I need a note block for that. Oof. I was going to put in a, a sound muffler because we've got all those cows over there that are getting kind of loud. Uh, anyway, aside from that, so I want to make... There's a couple of different Coke ovens. Um, so uh, this Coke brick here, this is a lot... This is very similar to the old Railcraft Coke oven, which apparently doesn't exist anymore. I'm not quite sure uh, on that. Uh, but it's basically the, uh, the same, um, uh, same recipe on that. So we need a lot of clay and clay bricks and uh, some sandstone or red sandstone, stuff like that. So we've got... Um, We've got the desert over here where we can go get sand and sandstone and even some of this hardened clay and stuff that, that I'm going to try to uh, incorporate into this build. Uh, also, there's a Coke oven from Foundry. Uh, this one here has to be placed above a heater block, uh, which means uh, that it, there's a, another block basically that sits underneath it that um, provides the heat for it. Uh, it also requires this refractory uh, bricks which uh, come from refractory clay, which is clay around a block of sand or one piece of clay with, uh, uh, you know, another four, the equivalent of four clay here. So anyway, we need a lot of clay. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of clay. Um, uh, let's see where I put it right here. So there are a couple of things that uh, we're going to need to do, one of which is uh, get some clay or make some clay. And this is one of the things that I was talking to uh, one of my, uh, my other subs about is uh, the fact that you can make clay in a smeltery. And so that's what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show how to do that. So one of the first things we need to do is get some water in there. And that's why uh, 
why well, I went and I got a stone drum full of water. Now, I'm not sure if I have to click it into the inside or if I can just put it there. Okay, good. I can just put it in from there. So now when we look, we've got some water in our smeltery, one bucket's worth. Uh, so what do we do with that? Well, what we do with that is we get ourselves some dirt and some cobblestone. So from here, we go ahead and we place one piece of dirt and one piece of cobblestone. I believe it's a one-to-one -one in here. Um, so there are two things we can make. We can make obsidian and we can make molten clay. Uh, so we need some seared stone and some liquid dirt and some water. So it looks like one bucket of water will make four. Uh, and then we need... Uh, Let's see how much that's going to give us. That gives us one ingot of liquid dirt. So we're definitely going to need uh, three more of those because uh, one uh, bucket is good for four blocks of, or uh, four bricks worth at least. Um, ingots is, is really what we're looking to, uh, to be making here. And we'll get to this in just a moment. Uh, another thing that I want to do though is I want to go ahead and get uh, some extra seared stone going so now we've got one ingot of molten clay so one to one um, on that and now we've got three extra ingots of dirt so we're just going to throw that in and that'll give us uh, four um, ingots worth of liquid clay or molten clay i'm sorry so what can we use this for um, we can use it to make casts directly so if um, this is one of the things that uh, I was mentioning is if you if you just need to make a single use cast you can use uh, some water some dirt and, and cobblestone and you can make a one-time use cast uh, that's not a problem um, other things you can do is you can pour it out to make hardened clay or you can put it into an ingot cast and get a brick you cannot actually get the um, the clay in um, Oh, what's uh, in this form? Uh, you can only get it out as a brick or as hardened clay. So um, that's kind of not as useful, but still, what this does now is we've got four blocks worth, or one block worth of molten clay, which will come out here. It, it uh, hardens pretty quickly, and now we've got a brick. So it is fairly inexpensive. Uh, be, it just takes a little bit of time. There, of course, are ways you can automate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some extra water in there. So that's enough for... Uh, another 12. And I'm just going to put in as much uh, cobblestone as I can from here. And the reason for that is because I want to make some extra uh, seared stone. And uh, there are other ways to make the seared stone, which I've kind of mentioned before, other than having to go and get your clay and your sand and uh, gravel uh, to make the grout, which then you would cook into the seared brick, which you would then turn into the seared stone. So a couple of things that we're going to do for that. So um, I'm going to go and sleep through the night here, and we're going to get to... Uh, running out to the desert, uh, we need to get some sandstone. And then there's another thing uh, in particular that I want to get to. And that's gonna be uh, a use for some dirt, some bone, and some rotten flesh. So there is something that I want to check on uh, real quick, and that is uh, white dye. And uh, I'll show you why uh, in a very uh, in the very near future. So we have white dye from Biomes of Plenty, which comes from white anemone and uh, lily of the valley. We've got uh, floral white powder, uh, which is also considered a white dye. Uh, there is the white dye powder from Substratum. Uh, which will use any of the other white dyes, including bone meal. So um, 
What, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if there's a way I can manipulate the way the OR dictionary works to my advantage. Um, to do that, though, I'm going to need uh, some of these, um, at least one of these white dyes. So let me see if I can find something that would give me white dye here real quick. And then we'll see if I can do, uh, do my barrel manipulation, which I've done before using Java in particular. Uh, let's see, do I have anything here for white dye? It doesn't look like it, so it may just be one of those things that uh, we're not going to be able to do, at least at this point in time. Yeah, if I don't have any white flowers, it's, it's definitely not going to work. Um, ash. Is there any... Whoa. Is there any way that can be used as a dye? Probably a gray, if anything. Uh, camouflage paneling? Nope. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started on uh, getting some of this, uh, the clay that we need, or uh, the sandstone, actually, real quick. Um, oh, you'll also see, um, I went ahead and I claimed some chunks. If you're interested in how to do this, this is part of FTB Utilities. If you're on a server where you, uh, where you have this installed, uh, you can come here to the claimed chunks, and... Um, so I'm on a team, and then I've claimed this area here. Uh, and so anytime you go in or out of that, uh, it will say in the upper right-hand corner uh, when you've entered someone else's area, or if you're in the wilderness. Uh, it's it's a nice nice thing. Um, also, I whoa. Okay, that is a harpy. And. Uh, this is basically one of the creatures that killed off all my villagers previously. And they come from the desert. And they are nasty. They can actually jump over the fence. Um, so uh, thankfully she wasn't really able to do that uh, at that time. So um, there's another thing that I want to do really quickly. Uh, we're going to make a new tool. Um, we need to go into the stencil table, we're gonna make a, an excavator. So uh, there's so much dirt and sand and, and stuff around here that I need to, uh, to clear out that uh, I definitely am gonna need an excavator. So I think we'll just go ahead and we'll do it right now. Um, and then, uh, then I'll show you what I was gonna do with the bone and the, uh, the rotten flesh. Uh, let's see. I did get that. Yes, I did. And I've got some brass over here already. So let's go ahead and make uh, make ourselves... Where is it? There it is. Brass. And so, here, let me go ahead and... I need a total of eight, so we're going to have to do this here. And then you take uh, you take your bone meal... And you take your rotten flesh, and you take some dirt, and you can make graveyard soil, um, which heals undead. Oh, well, that doesn't sound like a very good thing, does it? Uh, let's get some of this steel here that I've been making. Um, no, absolutely not. That does not sound like a good thing. However, what we can do is if we come over here, we can cook it up. And it'll go from graveyard soil into something else. It now becomes consecrated soil, which hurts undead. So that is why we need uh, a lot of uh, bone meal. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to uh, make it the way I want to. Uh, let's see. We are also going to need some type of a handle. For now, it's going to have to be... Um, oh, you know what? All I'm going to have is, like, wood. I'm going to have to do a uh, crystal. Uh, what do I mean by that? I mean a cl uh, slime. Where is all my slime? You know, I think it's over in here. Uh, I'm sorry. I should have prepped this a little bit better. I knew what I wanted to do. Uh, just before I got to it, I was really kind of moving stuff around. Where is all my slime? I've got my saplings here. 
I guess that means I left it somewhere over here. I was I was kind of getting getting stuff started to uh, to move. Where is all of my slime? Is it? Am I just missing it? Did I put it out here? Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, let's see. I believe I want the blue slime. Um, let's find out uh, if I smelt it. No. Okay. Uh, let's see. This one here. Oh, there's a slimy generator. I didn't realize that. Um, gelatinous slime drop. No, that's not what I want. Um, why doesn't it show... Uh, let's see. Okay, so the blue slimy mud. Let me make sure that's the one I want. Um, blue slime crystal. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I can't uh, can't just get it quickly. Let's see. Is a white tulip? One of these, I think, gives white. Let me see. No, that's light gray. Uh, oxide daisy. Those are also light gray. The Azure Bluette is also light gray. Okay, never mind. Um, where is my book then? Sorry guys, uh, there we are, materials in you. Though this is probably the long way to do it. Uh, tool materials. Blue versus green, uh, 1.3 modifier, and this one is uh, 0.7. Okay, so it is blue. Blue is what I want. I'm going to need three blocks worth. So um, I need three sand, three dirt, and... Three of you, so we take you and you and you. There we go. Um, so three is the magic number. The number is three. Uh, if you can tell me what that's from, uh, I'll buy you a large lunch at, uh, at a drive-up window somewhere. How about that? What does that even mean? No worries. Uh, let's see. So the other parts we're going to want. Um, <laughs> I just broke the glass because I don't care. Uh, let's see. Crafting. Oh. You know what? I, got, I have to upgrade my tool station. Uh, I need a bunch of blocks of something. I've got some tin. Um, I think I'd rather use copper, though. Um... Though I do have an awful lot of tin. Um, I'm going to need a total of four blocks. Uh, that's worth two. There. I'm just going to use copper. Copper will be fine. Totally forgot that... Um, no, I just wanted nine. I must have had some in my uh, backpack there. Okay, so uh, what else do we have going on in here? We've got our steel for that. We're making that. We're gonna need some plates as well. Um, a good plate would be something like iron because it's uh, magnetic. So we're gonna need, uh, where is some iron? So I guess I'll put in enough for uh, for two more. Yeah, I thought I uh, thought I had some extra there. Um, and then what else would I want to put in there? So let's go and get this copper out. Um. Oh, I'm also going to need uh, three seared stone. 
I've got one left in here, I think. Yes, I do. And then because I put some stone in there, I can get some out of this. Uh, how much do I have in there? I have three blocks of seared stone, so that's good. Um, let's eat real quick. Uh, let's just throw that in there. I've got plenty of cobble. Okay. Um, seared stone. Stone. It says I've got three blocks worth. I only need two at the moment. Perfect. And of course it's night time. Sleep on the ground, I don't care. All right. So now we're going to come over here, we take our tool station, four copper blocks, uh, and then three seared stone, and that gives us a tool forge. So with the tool forge, with the tool forge we can then make uh, the excavator, which is a head, um, a plate, a handle and a binding. So we need a really good binding for this. Let's go ahead and get our. Um, we need a tough tool rod. So let's go ahead and make the tough tool rod out of our slime. And then we need something that will give us decent um, durability. Uh, let me look in the book here real quick and see what we actually have available to us. Uh, let's go ahead and pull out the iron I stuck in there. Where is it? There we go. Uh, oh, I need to make a plate for it. That's what I'm missing. Uh, the stencil table. Uh, large plate. There it is, large plate. And we're also gonna need the um, the tough binding. So let's go part builder. These are gonna have to be stone. And of course I don't have any cobblestone left, so let's grab some. Uh, part builder, cobblestone for you, and cobblestone for you. So I can go make these. Uh, brass, there we are. And then I still need to do the one for the large plate. There we go. Plate. Uh, let's see, I don't need the tough tool rod one because I already made it slimy. And so the last one I need here is the binding. What makes a good binding? Uh, tool materials. Let's see. What do I have available? I can make it out of... I could do it out of obsidian, but... Um, oh, you know, I should make it out of wood. If I do it out of wood, then it will um, actually repair itself a little bit. Slowly, but it'll repair. Um, so, iron, there you are. And I've got some eucalyptus here. Uh, the part builder. The binding. And that's a value of four wood. I don't need four wood, is that what you're telling me? How much wood do I need? Three, one, two, three, there we go. All right. So now let's just get our plate and we're gonna be ready to make it. Okay, excavator. 
a steel head, which gives us uh, quite a bit of durability. Uh, we have an iron plate, which is going to give us um, magnetic. Uh, slimy tough tool rod, which gives us 1.3 modifier on our handle. And then the wooden tough binding, which will give us, uh, it'll self-repair very slowly, but still a little self-repair. So that's nice. That gives us 792 durability. That's not too bad. So let's go take a look at how well this thing's going to work. So we're out in the wilderness. We need to be really careful because out here is where the ants are. And I better make sure I have my battle sign ready. Because their archers mean business. All right. It's nice and easy. What do we have here? All right, there's sandstone, which I totally need. Sheep, go! Oh, there's one. All right, come here. Get out of here. So see, I knock them away, and they take the damage from the sharpness. Hopefully a little bit of fall damage as well. Goodbye. Woohoo! All right. So that is why I make my tool the way I did, or my weapon. Now I just have to hope that no more of them show up. Go, excavator, go. Very nice. All right, let's get some of the sandstone. Uh, so obviously one of my next tools I'll be making is going to be um, the, ha the hammer for mining stone um, that uh, that's definitely going to be something that I need in the near future and of course because the handle is made from slime occasionally slimes will appear uh, that's one of the uh, you could kind of call it an advantage um, one of the unique things about making it out of slime is that uh, they will occasionally appear. Alright, let's get some more of this. So, um... Other than that, I will need to go and find a, a nice sized clay deposit as well. Because um, that will definitely help. There's obviously some mobs down under here. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's a pretty good sized area. Throw some lights in there, maybe? Oh, something just saw me. From where? Maybe I can get this to fall in on him or something. There it goes. Oh yeah, they're drown. I was gonna say drowning, but they're suffocating. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Try and shoot me, stupid. Yeah, all of that's ready to fall. Kind of crazy. Use it to your advantage. Now oh, there we go. And did some more of it fall over here, too? Oh, I guess it did. Oh. Does this go anywhere? Oh, I guess it does go somewhere. That's a lot of iron. Uh, 
Where's that zombie at? Must be down here somewhere. Well, you know what? I think I'm just gonna let that drop. At least part of it. Figure if nothing else, maybe it will uh, bring some light in. Very nice. Whoa! Oh. That's the bad guy. Oh. oh! Oh, I'm so glad I was able to make that jump. Come on, hit him! Okay, where'd the guy go with the uh, bow? Trying to get him to shoot the satyrus here. I know I heard arrows being fired. Where is it? Oh, there it is. He's quite a ways away. Oh, he's still coming, though. Uh, come on, where's a nice friendly mob over here for me? None here? Well, at least he can't get in. Let's see, there he is. Oh, he almost got in. He, she, they... I think they're supposed to be females. I believe they have some kind of, like, a female model. I mean, they, they appear to have breasts of some kind. Ow. Go ahead, keep shooting. Once I finish this one off. See, and that's the interesting thing is ants, the workers, are males. So I don't know why they used a, uh, what appears to be a female model. Because it certainly does appear to have breasts. Um, anyway. Um, with that, let's go and sleep through the night. And that's going to be the end of it here for this, uh, this session. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll start up another one here, and uh, we'll go ahead and continue on trying to get this Coke oven done. It shouldn't take much longer now. Um, I'll just need to keep making some of the brick and uh, go find some clay. So I'll see you guys in the next one.